All right, here we go. Question number three from our college algebra homework number seven in my lab math. They've given us this time a logarithmic equation and they want us to solve for X. So we're going to bring that over here in our window and explain that if you're going to solve a log equation, first of all, you need to make sure that the logarithm is isolated, that there is only log stuff on one side, which is the case here. And at that point, I'm going to convert to an exponential. All right, so here we go. We're going to bring the base down, switch the other two around. So since the 5 is a base, he's going to need a power. And that's where the 2 comes in. Got it? Bring the base down, switch the other two around and the 4x minus 6 goes here. So now we have an exponential equation, and now we can solve for x. 5 squared is 25. The minus 6 needs to come over, so that'll make that a plus 6. 25 and 6 is 31. And then we're going to divide both sides by 4. And we're done. x equals 31 fourths. Bam, freaking easy, okay? Now, for bonus, what I'd like to do is I'd like to check that. So I'm going to bring up our handy-dandy calculator, and I'm going to show you how you can check this problem with the calculator. Here's our original problem. We're going to put in log base 5 of 4 times. Now, remember x. We found x to be... 31 fourths. So if I plug in 31 fourths in for x minus 6, do you understand this should work out to equal 2 if our x is correct? And that proves it. There we go. So let's put that into my lab math. We've got, I'm sorry, what was it again? 31 fourths. Bam! I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.